checking in. It's like midnight or something. She, ooh, ow, ooh. This is so nice. Ah, oh, I love a plush hotel room. Bed, mirror. You basically I don't know if we have a balcony. Doesn't look like we do, you know. Well, the basic room. Well, we'll, we'll okay, basic room. Good morning from Cebu or Cebu, um, two different ways of pronouncing it. Jas and I have just woken up in this glorious hotel room to the glorious sunshine and the crazy humidity. We arrived really late last night. We we got to our hotel at around midnight after about 36 hours of being awake and travelling and sweaty and disgusting and whatever we've just woken up we've had breakfast and now we're heading straight to the pool mango danish pancake what? oh my god guys i've never been happier i hope this is vegetarian it's japche this is Korean. Oh, it's Thai and Korean. Tofu. This breakfast is incredible. Oh my god. And they also. Kongji. Just having breakfast, and guys, I could not be happier to see vegetables and tofu in my life. This is the sort of food I live for. Once again, I'm so excited. I've got some noodles. I think they're just stir fried. It was meant to be a soup, but the stock was meat. So I just got it stir fried, I think. I don't know, but whatever it is, I'm so excited. And some more stir fried veg. Today is a rest day, isn't it, Jess? Yep. Tomorrow we have exciting and scary things planned. But first of all, we're going to the pool. And I've seen it. It's an infinity pool. Oh, so exciting. Let's take you with us. Oh my god, this infinity pool here is so nice. I'm being blinded by the sun. We're now just sat on these sun lounges that are like half in the water. It's so nice. My hair was super greasy, so I thought I'd just let it get wet. But I don't think these sunglasses suit me, you know. I've had them for years, I don't think I've ever worn them, but oh well. Our coconut water and an infinity pool. Can life get any better than this? No. balcony sorry we've just had a room change because last night when we checked in it was like midnight 1 a.m and they put us in a garden view room i think and we'd paid for a garden view but they upgraded us now to a sea view which has got a balcony so i'm going to give you a room tour because oh, this view is incredible how do i get out of here hold on this is our balcony oh it's so cute there's only one chair out here which is a bit weird but anyway look at this view Oh my god, hang on a minute, is there two pools? No, we were just in this pool here, that's the infinity pool, and the hotel's huge, it actually goes all the way around there, and that's the sea, it's absolutely stunning. Anyway, so here's our room, we've got a king size bed, bedside tables, there's like loads of different lighting options going on here, um, there's a desk, I have noticed from the other room, this one's a little bit narrower but i mean it's fine no one really cares there's a desk situation there's a mini bar which yeah you do have to pay for there's a fridge in here oh ow, my nails 
um, kettle tea coffee making facilities then a luggage stand we get slippers there's a safe robes um, extra duvets and stuff this is probably just a wardrobe and then here's the bathroom so we've got a bathtub here and it's a bit like a wet room because there's a shower here um, I showered last night when we got in and the water literally went everywhere um, here's the mirror really nice and bright you get face masks here because you face masks are optional but it was mandatory on the flight and I think in the airport too there's um, a L'Occitane body lotion which is very lovely and a loo yeah this hotel room is so nice I absolutely love it this hotel has quite recently been renovated since the typhoon here in 2019 which is why it's all shiny and new and you guys know how much I love that it's very clean um, I'm loving it today's a bit of a rest day because tomorrow we start our scuba diving course I think I said this morning and um, it's about lunchtime now we spent all morning just lounging by the pool reading my book going for a swim it's been lovely but now we've got some e-learning to do we've got an exam to sit for tomorrow like talk about leaving it till the 11th hour <laughs> So that's what we're gonna do. Probably like sit out. Oh, is there any one person who can sit out here? Anyway, we're gonna just do that first, and then I'll I'll take you with me wherever I go. Dinner time! Yes, I'm starving. Yeah, we haven't had lunch today. We're off to go and find some dinner in the hotel. Then we have an early start. To oh, we got 100%. I got 100%. Jas got 98% on his paddy. E-learning. E-learning. Open dive. So technically we've done... Open water dive. Day one of three. Day one of three? Well, we're saving a day by doing e-learning. Yeah, yeah, but I've forgotten everything. Oh I'm gonna gosh, drown. I'm about gonna die. How do you forget something? You only passed the exam about an hour ago. <laughs> I know, I forget everything. Chicken. Oh what did you even get? He doesn't even know. Some sort of Grilled chicken. chicken. <laughs> but I don't know the name of it. You don't have, you have a clue, it. do you? Woohoo! I got a margarita pizza with extra mushroom and wait are there mushrooms and chilies and it's like she read my mind she brought me into Basque. i was gonna ask her for some chili sauce anyway this is so good actually there's pesto in here as well mm. Mm, interesting i've had a really early start this morning my alarm was set for 5 30. had a really early breakfast and now it's like what 10 to 8 we're running a little bit late we have a taxi book to go to our scuba diving place for side dive yeah. But we're going scuba diving. Yes. Scary. Yeah, I'm really scared. I didn't sleep very well last night, so I was just shitting myself. Round. Hopefully it's fun. I don't drown. Drown. I don't kill myself. loads of diving places in this area um, I think this is just what this place is for I guess and it all says paddy training Hello. this Hello. is one we're with Hello. turn around large this large no that's me John. turn yeah. around where else tanks these are so hot okay so next the BCD Ready, Nash? Yeah. Anything to say on that one? Good Second? Morning. Yeah. My back is killing me because look at this tank. That is heavy, isn't it? Yeah. It's so heavy. It's not heavy in the water, it's just heavy 
here. Look at the state of my hair. We've just done our first full day. It was a lot of food. And a lot of stray dogs. Oh, you got some friends. Are they calling scuba diving as well? Scuba diving for you as well? Whoa, how many are they? Wait, his mates. He's like, anyway. can't stand here all day. So this is a snorkel. We've got like all this equipment, which... Oh, my equipment is here. Yeah, so you're going to explain what's what? The whole... No, 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 I don't want to explain. Yeah. I need to take this off. Okay, so... I uh, don't know if you can see me. And I'm also, oh, do you know what? I didn't equalize my ears properly. We've just done our first half of the day. My shorts are falling down. I'm completely soaking wet, so I can't even walk. We're going to find some lunch, but we've been walking down here for quite a while and we haven't got very long to go back. To be honest, I don't really care about food. I just need to go to a toilet that's not completely gross. Like, I don't know. Scuba diving was so scary, um, but so fun. And I got stung by a jellyfish, literally on like day one. What the hell? I don't know what to do. The guy said I need to put vinegar on it. I don't know what that means. I thought you had some on the back of the way. Yeah, he was like pointing and I was like, have you got some? <laughs> Surely they'd have some sort of first aid kit. It really stings though. I know, I know, I look really glamorous. Look at my hair. So chic. Anyway, we just had our first morning of diving. Oh, it was so fun, but so scary. We we went seven and a half meters deep. Um, by the end of like your what's it called paddy open walls training, you're meant to go 18 meters. So it's split into like two days, like two mornings, two afternoons. We just had our first morning. So this time tomorrow, we might be like ready to do 18 meters. It was so scary and like I didn't like clear my ears properly you're supposed to like equalize when you go in the water and like you're supposed to like blow out like hold your nose blow out so it unblocks your ears but it's really difficult you're so tired don't you I was just like can I just have a little lie down but the fish did you see the fish there's one fish and it was all white and it had like loads of multicolored like it was so pretty it was like a like a sparkly rainbow type thing and the guy kept trying to point to stuff and I was like mate I'm trying to stay alive here like I'm trying to stay afloat stop trying to show me pretty things this is my first time like this deep but I did see a few things and it was so cool one thing looked like a snake also I've been bit by a jellyfish I don't know what to do with that don't think hold my arms you think, well, you really cross my arms and just swim like that you know and just swim with my legs yeah but I think it makes really... you hold your hands in front of you yeah. and I was like you I... Really do that it's only really... natural to keep doing you know this when you go you up and down it's because you want to, to want you to go sink you want to sink down to the level and I don't want to touch the floor because you don't know what you're touching do you right I know and, and at one point they got tangled near some fence thing, right? Oh and yeah, I, I nearly got tangled. Yeah, but he, That's like panicking, and you start breathing. When your tank goes overdrive, then you use more air, mm -hmm. and it's a whole thing. And I kept checking my thing to see how much air I've got left in case I'm stranded in the middle of the sea. It was so scary, but it was so fun. I'm actually really shattered. I could do with a coffee, but I'm really dehydrated, so... Mm -hmm. We've just come to this place, by the way. Um, I have no idea what it's called. It's the only place that is actually serving food and it's vegetarian. We're just getting a croissant for lunch. Why is that croissant taking so long? We actually just got a pan of chocolat. Trust me. Yeah, and we ordered water. There's like no real food here. It's all a bit weird. Um, we're going to find out what's going on. Yeah, just find out. Like, I thought it'd be ready by now. It's very weird. Anyway, we have to go back in like half an hour. It's like a 20 minute walk back. Okay, so we ordered the two things that we found on the menu, croissants and I think this is called Tetek Rocky. Is that an egg? Yeah. In the UK, I don't think it comes with an egg. It's Korean food. Oh, my ears. I can't hear anything. But it's like some rice thing. I don't know. It's just food. Like, we just needed something to eat, right, before we collapse in the water and never resurface. Looks interesting. I hope there's no fish sauce in it. I did ask him, but I'm not sure that he understood me. <laughs> We're about to get suited up again and go out for our second dive. There's a lot of theory on day one, but we met some other people that just completed day two and they said it's a lot more fun. So, looking forward to that. Okay, we've got the weights on. Even. Yep. Balance. Balance. And then the heavy bit. Shall I put this on? Let's get, uh, I think I'll put yours on first. Oh, me? Yeah, let me show let me you there. So you're putting the weights on for... Oops, a bit of backlight there, Nish. She goes... You have to come this back, Right, here we are, Nish. So we're, you're putting the weights on as well. The sun's really badly in your eyes, isn't it? We're about to put your BCD on, which is... This is really heavy. I mean, like, the cylinder... I can't even carry that, but you have to All that walk is... With it you have to walk with that, yeah. Oh, the fins. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the fins. I hate the fins. Then they're, they're not easy to put on. Sorry, that's a snorkel. It's the fins that I don't like. 
Ya. So she's just put some anti-fog on our these masks. I can't see what I'm filming. Okay, look, look, here we are. So, but they do still get a bit foggy, to be fair. It's a baby shampoo, really. So it's not anti fog at all. It's baby shampoo, yeah. Yeah, mine were black, yes. Yeah. Plus your fins. Baby shampoo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same thing. That's why it smells quite nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, she burst in. Okay. Gone. There we are. Gonna put this heavy thing on me. Good luck. All right. Okay. I should also add that it's like 38 degrees, it's Whoa. so hot. <laughs> so if you're ready, now you've got one arm on. Okay. Stop! Hold on, sorry. Oh. My arm's not going to hold This way? Yeah. Yeah, we are. That was heavy. Don't forget to clip it in oh, yeah, three places. Out, you got this bit. Then you got this bit. And you've got these top things here somewhere. That. Yeah. And something else. There we go, Nish. That thing is really heavy. Good luck. Sit, person, sit, person, sit, sit, sit. Sit, sit. Sit. Yes, sit. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, he's stand up. You see? Do you want to give your hand? It is like, th th that thing is not light at all, is it? It's very heavy. That's it. Now you've got to start doing your fasting. Oh, I feel really, really hot now. Because you've got like, the stuff on you. It's like a blanket itself anyway. Is this okay? Yep. Okay, Nesh, do you want me to Dying. give you a hand? No, uh, stop We actually a three point turn just here. <laughs> we are on our way to Surreal Gardens. Uh, actually, we, we've been o o already. We climb already. How? Oh. The hardest bit is done, I think, because you're now on the thing, aren't you? Yes. Mm. Scary. Right. We've just been through a landslide. I think I saw my life flash before my eyes. Mm. Mm. Away to That's so scary. It's, it's up the hill. Okay. Is this car all right? I'm struggling. I don't know. On the way down, obviously, it'd be easier. Not through a landslide. I'm gonna fall off the edge of a mountain. He's just casually walking up those steps. I'm terrified for when it's my turn. That view is going to have to be amazing, isn't it?
I apologise if I look super sweaty. I have no idea what's going on with my face right now. It is so hot and humid. Even like all the locals are like dripping in sweat. I thought it was just me or just us. We are at Sorau Gardens and this is our third day here, I think. As in, in Cebu, not at Sorau Gardens. We've just driven um, to Cebu City and this place is near there. It was meant to take an hour and a half. It took us about two two and a half hours there was a landslide we had to go up a mountain there was a landslide our taxi driver thought he'd chance it it was a whole thing we have this guy for the day we met him at the airport when he picked us up and he was really nice we got his phone number he's given us a really good deal like just sort of for the day to take us to basically wherever we want to go there isn't a ton of places we want to visit today because i woke up feeling so ill after diving yesterday um i don't think it was the diving i had a coffee at breakfast and i asked for oat milk i really don't think it was because the previous days when i've had oat milk it's been like ridiculously sweet compared to the no sugar one that i have at home i think they gave me dairy and i've just felt absolutely horrific like i couldn't even chat to the taxi driver i had to pretend to be asleep so he wouldn't like talk to me which i felt bad about because he's actually really nice and the chat was really interesting and then i did actually fall asleep on the journey here so just might have to take over the vlog at some point today because i just still don't feel a hundred percent i'm pretty sure it's because I had dairy. Jas seems to think I might have some kind of food poisoning because I've been eating a lot of like fruit and salads and stuff like that because the veggie options haven't been great. But we are in Cebu City today and I've scoped out two vegan restaurants. One might be veggie, one might be vegan. Um, that I really want to go to because I'm very excited. I really want to try some Filipino food because I've actually never had Filipino food. There's only one place that I know of sort of near me in London and they just do chips without the bacon and that's veggie. So <laughs> I've not actually had um, Filipino food before and it'd be so nice to go somewhere that does a veggie or a vegan option. Oh, I'm so hot and sweaty. I'm just sat in the shade waiting for Jas to come down off this big hand. Can you see it? He really wanted to come here because he keeps seeing it on Instagram. It was a Dutch woman that built this garden. I think she lives in Cebu or she moved or I don't know. But it's based on Amsterdam and it's so cool. It's so pretty. there windmills and there's a giant clog that reminds you of Amsterdam there's also a little canal running through this place it's so pretty and then if you flip it around this way it's a well doesn't that look just like Amsterdam with the bikes the canal the bridge it's so so nice here it's so peaceful and we're literally the only two people in this place vegetarian food and I was like please I'm sick of eating shit like seriously and 
you took us to a shopping centre that looked promising. We have walked around every single food store, every single restaurant, apart from one shawarma guy that said you can give me a wrap with cabbage and lettuce in it, which I don't want. Oh, and a bit of carrot. That's literally it, three things. I was like, no. Um, so I've got some like, two portions of lumpia, which is basically vegetable spring rolls. But they're really oily and it's really just not what I wanted to eat. I'm not a fan of this place, guys. I'm just not hungry. Try it. I'm trying some spring rolls. Yeah, I don't mean. This is not the one, is it? It's not the Ugh. Yeah, it's just not the one. Like, it's so weird. Literally everywhere you go, it's just seafood and meat. Oh, I'd love to eat the crappy restaurant at the hotel again tonight. I've exhausted their vegetarian menu two nights. I had a margarita pizza and I asked for mushrooms to be added. And last night I had an arabiata pasta and I asked for mushrooms to be added. That's the two vegetarian things that they have. I've got a very good idea. I need vegetables in Can my life. Laugh? We're going to a different hotel for dinner. Yes. Rabbit. Oh, the rabbit's this one. Where's his face? These ones are cute. Toy poodle breeder. Today has been a bit of a weird day. Um, I think I've vlogged random little clips, but hasn't been a very good food day, has it? No. Um, well, it hasn't been a very good food week for me. There are two restaurants in this hotel. Oh, it's light. There are two restaurants in this hotel. One is a sports bar. I've exhausted both of their vegetarian options, <laughs> margarita pizza and penne arrabbiata, which by the way was delicious. There's also a Thai restaurant, I think, upstairs, a little bit fancier. We're gonna go there. There's literally nothing vegetarian on the menu, but they said they can make stuff for me without the meat, so I can get like a red curry without the beef and stuff like that. So, hopefully the breakfast nice. place has been really good though, haven't they? They've, they've actually been really made... good. They've been very like accommodating. Yeah. I don't want to go around the corner. So whatever you've asked them to make, they'll do. Like even like the stir fries or whatever you add in. They don't normally do a stir fry in the mornings. No, they do a stir fry in the mornings, but with oyster sauce. And they've made it for me without the oyster sauce. And I've had like garlic fried rice, which sounds really weird for breakfast, but actually we just haven't really been having lunch, have we? Because no, it keeps yeah, really us really full. full. Yeah. And I don't normally have breakfast at home. I tend to have quite an early lunch. Lunch. So here we've just been having an early breakfast, maybe a snack or two, not even every day, and then we'll just go for like an early-ish dinner. It's like 6.30, maybe 7 o'clock now, and we're just heading up for dinner. <sighs> Hopefully it's good. We looked at all the menus for like nearby hotels just to see if there's anything vegetarian. And there literally isn't. Like even the Shangri-La, the only vegetarian dish they have on the menu is uh, broccoli stir-fried with garlic. I'm not paying like a fiver for that, and I would if it was part of a meal, but I'm not just going to get garlic broccoli. That's not a meal. <laughs> I am really sick of just eating shit. This is a Sunset Sports Bar, which basically leads out to the pool, so we've been sat there for the past two nights. And now we're heading through reception, which is just here, and then that's where we have breakfast. And right at the back up there, upstairs, is the fancier restaurant. This hotel is still undergoing renovation because a lot of it was destroyed because of the typhoon in 2019. And they now even have like security as you walk in. I think it's a new thing because we only got checked by security today, not for the past two or three days that we were here. This is the restaurant that we're going to, just here. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Hello. Hi. Of the menu so we were going to order cocktails but then they brought us out a welcome drink which is a mocktail and we ordered sparkling water so we're gonna see how we go because I mean it's just gonna be a lot of drinks but the mocktail they've just brought out is the first one the lovely Dutani an antioxidant and it looks really cool really cool color cheers All right. Thank you. 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 Thank
So we have the vegetable fried rice that we're sharing. Um, they put tofu in my red curry actually. They took the pork out and they, I thought it should be vegetables, but it's tofu, which is great. Can you pull your dish forward? What is it? This one's, um, it's cashew, sorry, it's chicken with cashew nuts and it's quite spicy. I can't remember what else is in it. But um, this so it's base, a sweet potato, sweet potato basket, which is pretty cool. Yes. Right, I have another custom made breakfast, but I'm not very happy with it because I didn't ask for this. They did this yesterday as well. They made me like an Indian spiced stir fry and they give me vegetable fried rice, which looks very good, but it's got cumin in it. I don't like whole cumin. This is our final day in Cebu and we've kept it as a rest day because initially we were meant to be doing our diving for two days. We stopped after one day because I had three panic attacks in the water. I've never had a panic attack in my life, but I thought the second dive would be easier than the first one and it was so much harder. There's a lot of theory on day one and one of the things, because obviously it's, um, it's called the Paddy Open Water Training, so it's if you want to continue to be a diver. And that wasn't our goal. We're not trying to be professional divers. We just wanted to experience it to see how we get on. So one of the things that they make you do on the second half of the first day is to test how you cope if they turn off your oxygen tank in the water when you're about five meters deep. And also when they take the regulator out of your mouth, so essentially you don't have oxygen, so you can't breathe and you can't hold your breath. And I swallowed so much water and I literally swam straight to the top and you're not meant to do that. You're meant to equalize because your ears can pop and it all gets blocked because of the altitude. It's a bit like when you're flying and your ears get blocked because you're so high up. It works the same when you're down below sea level as well. And it was so, so scary. And I was doing all the, because you have to learn all the hand signals underwater. This one means there's something wrong. I was doing all of that. And the guy's like, don't worry, don't worry, you'll be fine. And I was like, no, I'm not fine. Like having an actual panic attack. I swam to the top, left him there. So he obviously had to swim up. And then I was just freaking out. So I thought, you know what? I don't want to be a professional diver. It doesn't mean that much to me. I've experienced it now and I'm just gonna stop. So we did stop. I also had the worst backache because you have to walk quite a distance with your cylinder strapped to your back and obviously it's not just your cylinder you have like weights that are strapped around you and put into your pockets to basically help you sink when you're in the water then you've got your bcd and like you've got all this equipment around you it was just too much i mean we had a really good time when we were actually in the water and the first dive was great we saw some really cool fish we didn't get to film it because you're not actually allowed to take your underwater cameras on day one so the second day they would have let you do that but um yeah we didn't stick it out until then <laughs> so it is a shame that we don't have our accreditation and we only went well we went 10 and a half meters deep in the end um, you can go up to 18 meters deep on your first sort of um can you see me sorry i'm being really like blinded by the sun i'm not sure which way to stand you can go up to 18 meters deep and obviously we didn't do that but anyway we had a fun day out yesterday we went to cebu city food here has just been an absolute nightmare like i have to say this reminds me of hong kong about 15 years ago there's literally nothing i can eat the concept of vegetarianism is just completely lost in this country it just doesn't exist everything has oyster sauce in it if it's just vegetables 
or it's just fish and meat and it's, it's been really tricky I'm not a person that can just eat pasta and pizza like I love vegetables I'm getting really bored of just fruit and salad and just rice <laughs> that's all I've really been eating we went to the fancy restaurant upstairs in the hotel for dinner last night and it was terrible as you would have seen it was oh it's just not been great and we've still got um just over a week here so I hope the food improves it's been it just makes you really grumpy, you know, when you're just eating crap. And it makes you feel really bloated as well. I still feel really ill from when they accidentally gave me dairy, so that wasn't ideal. But yeah, that's our day. We're gonna lounge by the pool. I've just made a start on editing this video and um, try not to have lunch. And maybe try and find somewhere else to go for dinner. We checked all the local hotels sort of nearby um, to see if like the Sheraton or the Shangri-La have veggie options and they literally just have one there's like a mushroom bao bun and the sheraton just did garlic broccoli and i was like what is this this is not food <laughs> this is a side so we'll see what happens we've just discovered another pool in this hotel it's not the infinity pool it's really tiny four foot deep and there's no one in it that's the best bit i'm jumping in so we're back at the sunset bar i've gone for all this tofu and vegetable stir fry she's not sure if they can make it without the oyster sauce so i'm hoping that she clarifies that but it's a little bit annoying because that is literally a platter for three to five people so just kind of forced to eat it i did ask if they could make it as a main course just for one person but she said no they'd still charge me the same amount so i was like that's a little bit annoying because as you can see all of their main courses contain meat <laughs> it's very frustrating ignore my makeup with space but i have to say i'm getting so frustrated with every meal here I'm just constantly hangry and just so annoyed. Here's our last meal, garlic rice, which I basically have every morning at breakfast with a stir fry. It's tofu and mixed veg, minus the oyster sauce and some Korean chicken wings for Jas. He's obviously sharing this. They said that this platter was for three to five people, but I, maybe like two adults and one child, do you reckon? As a main know. meal, I don't know. Anyway, okay, Jas is gonna try giving this cat a chicken wing. This cat's actually so cute. I don't think there's nothing on it though. Yeah, but I saw cats like stealing people's bones and running away with them. Surely they eat it, right? The waitress what, interrupted what us. But the cat is back for more and she knows that well, it, <laughs> it knows that you're the one with the chicken. I think it's cute. Do it no. further away from you. You're a very scared little cat, isn't he? Scaredy cat. <laughs> I think it's like, there's only bone like thing. There's, I don't know, but they seem to like it. I keep seeing them nicking people's chicken wing bones by the pool. <laughs> See, he's loving it. Give me the rest of your bones. And he's back again, right on cue. Look, look, look. See that one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a chicken wing over there. Seriously. <laughs> throw another one, throw another no, one. That way, that way. Throw another one, Jack. That way. There, see? A table. <laughs> He's not going to understand you. No, you're over there. Look, throw another it. one. Oh, I gave it a whole load of veg and it's just not happy with life. Come on. Eat the mushroom. You can do it. Oh my god, I'm so going to miss this pool. This pool was just one of the best wasn't busy either, it was just incredible. We are about to head up to our room to finish packing so we can leave first thing in the morning. So I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!